Hello everyone, it's Ryan back again to bring you another video. Today's video we are going to be checking out the Red Sea Reef Wave 25 in the display tank. It needs a bit of a clean, it needs some attention. It's been running now for a, well I think uh, probably about maybe five months, six months, I'll lose track of time. But anyway, we've had it for quite a while now, it's been running really well and I thought it's got quite a bit of Claris algae build up, which of course you really don't want that happening uh, too frequently. Otherwise, it will start to trap sediment and it will reduce flow in your aquarium dramatically as well. So I thought there's a, a great idea there to just video the process in how we clean our all of our equipment here at Drop Off Aquatics. Uh, we don't use any vinegar at all because vinegar has been proven to break down certain plastics and I can really mess with a lot of pumps and filtration and yeah, it's just not ideal. So we actually use citric acid, food grade citric acid here. It works a treat. We usually leave it in a citric 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 acid solution. Bit of a tongue twister that one. We we leave it for about usually overnight. Uh, but for this wave maker and for this video purpose, we're gonna dose it in quite a strong solution. We'll leave it for about five six hours. Take it out, rinse it. And then the citric acid will have done its trick anyway. It will have killed and disturbed the claris algae. So it'll just literally die off in the aquarium if there's any that doesn't come off when we are cleaning it. So without further ado, I'll flip the camera around now. I'll show you what it looks like in situ. And then I'll show you what we do to maintain it and how we pull the Reef Wave 25 apart. Couldn't be more simple. It's really straightforward to do, but I'll document it and show you guys anyway. So as you can see here, it's got quite a lot of buildup of Claris algae, none of which is going over the vents just yet. So there isn't a reduced flow. However, probably given another month, couple of months, there would definitely start to be Claris algae creeping over those slots and that would massively reduce flow rate, which obviously flow rate in a marine reef aquarium is one of the biggest factors in the health of your aquarium so without further ado we're going to pluck this out now and we're going to dip it in some citric acid solution okay so all i've done is just filled up a little portion of this tub with some tap water and um, straight out from the tap it doesn't really need to be dechlorinated because i'll soak this wave maker in ro water before placing it back into the aquarium so i've just popped in a little bit of tap water, added some of the citric acid, the food grade citric acid into this solution, mixed it up a little bit and then added the wave maker straight in. I will leave it in this normal form at first and then I'll take it out and actually strip it down and show you guys how we strip it down. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can literally just leave this wave maker in like this. You don't have to strip it down if you don't want to. Uh, the citric acid does an amazing job of getting everywhere and you can see that it's bubbling away there's absolutely loads of bubbles which shows me that it is working already and literally we'll give this a couple of hours now come back and i'll show you the results two hours later and this is how the reef wave 25 is now looking You could tell for sure 100% that the citric acid really has done some serious damage to the algae and the claris algae that was growing on there which is a good thing obviously we want to try and get this as clean as possible and uh, get it looking brand new or as close to brand new as possible just for aesthetics it looks much better when it's all black uh, rather than having lots of pinks and and, and various colored algae growing on top of it so what all I'm going to do now is remove this wave maker from this solution, give it a quick rinse with tap water, and then we'll soak it into Maro water before placing it back into the aquarium. Okay, so we'll lift this out using the tongs.
I say we'll just give this a quick rinse now. And literally you can see the algae, the clearest algae that is so hot and stubborn to usually get off, just literally flies off with minimal effort. So we'll just give this a rinse for a good couple of minutes and then we'll take it apart and we'll soak it in some RO water. So I've started to dismantle the actual wave maker itself. This is a really simple and easy process. Unfortunately I can't show you because it's very difficult to hold the phone whilst recording and uh, take things apart, but I'll show you as best as possible. So This is already fitted into here All you do is simply pull this cage off and that exposes the actual impeller itself You can see that the citric acid has cleared off all of the Claris algae, but there is this gunk and debris still attached so we just want to remove that and give that a real good clean again all you do is simply pull this off again apologies it's very difficult to do single handedly and there we go so we're going to put that into the bucket or tub this is again just tap water for now just to clean it all off So there is still some debris just on these pins here. So again, we're gonna put that in the bucket. Give it a real good clean. This will also just help to make sure that there's no citric acid left in any of the crevices or gaps within the actual unit itself. Really simple, quick, easy process. Yes, of course, I've left this wave maker soaking in the citric acid solution for a good couple of hours, but it allows me to do other jobs whilst it just sits there and uh, cleans itself basically and this process will literally take if I wasn't filming it, it would take one minute to clean okay so I'm gonna need gonna require a, a little brush just to be able to get into all the grooves here so I'm just gonna do that now and we'll come back now the wave maker's all cleaned up and it's put back together. We're just going to give it a quick rinse and then a soak with RO water just to make sure that as much of that citric acid, well all of the citric acid, we don't want any of it going into the aquarium, is all off the unit. Plus if there's any little bits of debris that I've missed, this will also just help bring that off. As you can see, and you probably agree with me, the citric acid has done an amazing job. Absolutely amazing job. There is virtually no work involved. There's no effort involved in, there's no scraping off the Claris algae. There's no brushing it for ages and ages and ages. It's literally put into the citric acid solution, leave for two hours and voila done rinse off with tap water as you can see on the video rinsing just with the tap water brought off the majority of the Claris algae and debris off this wave maker I did use a, a brush in the end just to take off any little bits of stubborn stuff that the citric acid hadn't quite removed but all in all this looks like brand new it looks like exactly the same 
how it was five six months ago very impressed and I just thought it's such a fantastic way to clean all your all of your equipment and why not share this video with you guys because uh, it's probably gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle okay so I'll leave this now for about five ten minutes just to soak in the RO water make sure I get the wire that was exposed as well to the citric acid inside remember of course this has already been rinsed off with tap water so there shouldn't be any citric acid residue at all and then this is just plain RO water now that this is soaking in before it goes back into the aquarium so the reef wave 25 is back in in the aquarium now as you can see it's pretty much spotless I would say 90% of the algae has gone you can see a couple of spots pink spots where it's not completely vanished but to be honest with soaking in the citric acid for a couple of hours I wouldn't be surprised if that just disappears over the coming days anyway it's 90% there looks brand new again the flow rate has increased slightly and it just looks fantastic as always thanks very much for watching this video guys if you liked it and enjoyed it feel free to hit that thumbs up button if you like this kind of content feel free to subscribe to our channel thank you all for watching I'll catch you in the next one